Hey there, I am back with this week's pep talk and I have recently started doing something that I haven't done for a while. I am tutoring a friend's son in English. I used to be an English ESL teacher, and if you didn't already know that. And so it's it's been a while since I've worked one-on-one -on -one with a student, and it's a lot of fun. But one of the things that I am noticing is that the things that I tell him are often things that I need to hear myself. And one in particular, I have needed to hear enough, I think, probably more than I even realize at this point, that... I thought I'd share it with you because odds are good you might need to hear it too. So this particular student just turned 13 and as tends to be true with kids his age, you ask a question and a lot of the time what you get is, I don't know, or a shrug or something along that line before he's even had a chance to think about the answer. It's instantaneous. It is, it is a, almost an instinctive reaction. It happens that quickly. And I've teased him that, you know, I'm going to charge him a nickel every time he does it. <laughs> and I've said, okay, for the next five minutes, you can't say this. You can't shrug. You can't say, I'm not sure to try to get around it. And I finally said to him, you know, you just plain have to stop saying, I don't know. Because odds are good that a part of you does know at least part of the answer to this question. Even if you haven't figured out that you know the answer to this question or part of it. And the thing is, every time you say, I don't know, preemptively, you cut yourself off from your own wisdom and your own knowledge. Now, it wasn't until later after I said that that I realized, you know, you could stand to take a little bit of your own advice because we all are confronted with things that we think we don't know. And some things we don't know, right? I don't know the unified field theorem. I don't know how to do differential equations. Me telling myself to stop saying I don't know is not suddenly going to change either of those things. So obviously there are limits here. But, you know, if I'm asking a student, what do you think comes next? and they immediately say, I don't know, they're not even allowing themselves any room to say, maybe I should do this. Maybe I should try this other thing. Maybe I'm not ready to do this part right now and I need to think about it a little bit more or I need to do more research or any number of things, including, oh, I know, I should do this. So my question to you is, how often do you cut yourself off before you even give yourself the chance to find out what you know? I think a lot of us know a lot more than we think we do. We know a lot more than we give ourselves credit for. We don't give ourselves enough credit in general. We definitely hold ourselves to standards of knowledge and understanding that we think other people are going to hold us to. And we just immediately decide that we don't know the answer. For whatever reason... It could be a relatively good reason. It could be we don't want to deal with the answer. <laughs> it could be we think the answer is going to be complicated. We think the answer is going to be rejected. We think the answer won't be good enough. It could be that we think we're not good enough to know the answer. But for any number of reasons, we cut ourselves off from our own wisdom. And in the process, we fail to give ourselves credit for things that we do understand and that we can do and that we can handle whether they are creative things or, you know, deciding what you want to serve at your holiday party since we're in that season. So my, my challenge to you this week is to notice how often you say, I don't know, and ask yourself if that's really true. Ask yourself if you should be waiting, pausing, giving yourself time to think, hey, maybe I do know the answer, or maybe an answer will come to me, or maybe there's something I'm not remembering. Maybe there's something I haven't put together yet. Maybe it's in there and there's something else getting in the way, like what I believe about what's going to happen if I say this answer. Just notice it. Spend a little time with it. Pay a little bit more attention. And when you do notice yourself saying, I don't know, 
When you ask yourself if that's really true, if it's not, give yourself the room to be curious enough to see what you might find if you make that space for an answer to come to you one way or another, whether you think you'll like it or not, or whether you think someone else will like it or not. You really might be surprised by what you discover because I think we all need to have a little bit more faith in ourselves. I said that to this student yesterday. I referred to the mustard seeds line from the Bible story. You know, you don't need to have the most giant piece of confidence in the entire universe. You only need a tiny bit. That tiny bit can get you so far. Just one mustard seed will get you so much farther than nothing. And it'll help you do amazing things if you let it. If you have that much faith in yourself, you'll be so much better off than when you started. And one of the first ways to do that is to stop saying, I don't know, reflexively, and start getting curious about what you do know. That may be a little bit tough right now because we're in the middle of the holiday season and things are a little bit crazy, but that might actually be the best time to start noticing. So, something to try. As always, I'd love to hear your experience with any of the ideas in these pep talks. And, you know, you can find me online, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, even. Or there's a contact form on my website. Or you can just email me, nancy at fycuriosity.com. Any of those work. But whether you contact me or not, I hope that it's a worthwhile experiment. I hope you learned something. I hope you get a little bit more faith in yourself in the process. And... I will talk to you next time. Our next pep talk will be after the holidays. So I hope whichever holidays you're celebrating are fabulous and everything that you want them to be. And I will see you closer to the new year.